Hey coders, welcome back to Coders Arcade. Today we are going to tackle an essential tool for every developer, the Oracle VirtualBox. We will guide you through the process of downloading and installing VirtualBox on your Windows machine. I am using Windows 11. Okay, this is the first step in unlocking a world of virtual possibilities for your coding adventures. So without any more ado, let's do one thing. Let's dive in. Okay, so before that, before even trying to install Oracle VirtualBox, before we get started, let's quickly talk about why Oracle VirtualBox is a must have for any coder. Okay, so VirtualBox allows you to create and manage virtual machines on your computer, which is fantastic for testing software, experimenting with different environments and much more. Okay, so it's a really must have for every developer or coder, whoever is working in the industry or if someone is trying to learn new things. Okay, so let's just do one thing. Let's head over to the official website of Oracle Box and try to download that. So I will just write Oracle Box and you can see Oracle VM Box is the official website. I'm just clicking on that and if you see here, I'm just getting this option download virtual box 7.0. I'll just click on this. And right now I'm in a Windows operating system. So you can see I have the Windows hosts option. If I click on this, it is asking me to download. Okay, so what I will do, I'll go to my D drive and I will go to my software's folder and there I will download it. Okay, here you can see. I'll just open this and save it here. Okay. So if you see it has been downloaded, let me just go there and here, this is the one. Okay, now we have the installer or the executable file. I'll just double click on this and I'm getting this prompt. So I'll click on yes and let me minimize this and this, it is a very easy installation. You don't have to worry about anything. Just follow the steps that I'm showing here. Just click on next and if you want to change the destination where it will be saved you can just click on browse and do it otherwise I'm, I'm not going to change it let it be c drive program files oracle virtual box let's click on next and here it says network interfaces installing the oracle vm box will reset your network connection and temporarily disconnected you from the network so i'll just say yes and it says missing the dependencies so maybe it will ask me some dependencies we will do that later I'll just click on yes and I'll just click on install. Okay, so you can see it's installing. So you can see I have got a desktop icon as well here. Okay, it might take some time. You can see it says start Oracle virtual box after installation. So guys, we have successfully installed it and I'll click on finish. And you can see the UI earlier was a little bit different. Now it is a little different. See, I'm maximizing it and making it full screen. You can see we have successfully installed the VirtualBox manager. And to create virtual machines here, I can just click on new. And you can see here, I can give the name. I can select the ISO image. We will be talking about lots of the stuffs in the next coming videos. Don't have to worry about that. I will show you how to install lots of different operating systems in your current existing operating system without even touching the hardware of your computer you don't have to worry about it and as i said it is a must and should for every coder you should be knowing virtual box very well okay so i've showed you the complete installation process and every step has been highlighted you don't have to worry about it you just follow the steps and you will get it installed after that in the next part we'll bring up how to say install ubuntu in windows 11 by using the virtual box okay so i have my operating system as windows 11 here i will be showing you how to install ubuntu using virtual box okay so there you have it coders you have successfully downloaded and installed oracle virtual box on your windows machine in our next video we'll explore how to set up your first virtual machine and dive into the exciting world of virtualization guys that is a very important concept if you found this tutorial helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe for more coding content and hit the bell icon to stay in the loop if you have questions or ideas for future tutorials drop them in the comments below happy coding and i will catch you in the next one at coders arcade Till the next time, this is Saurabh signing off. Bye-bye and happy learning. Thank you.